This video is about open contours. This is the follow on video for issue updates. So we are going to use the same file, T10351, but I have edited it and opened up some contours to simulate problems that I've addressed before. The save file I've used for this is octest.geo, so I'll get rid of this file and open up the one which is in the TOPS 200 folder and it's oc underscore test dot geo so I'll OK that and as you can see I've opened up a few different places contours there should have been reds there um, different parts are either gone over or under I'll start on this one up here Right, this element is short of where it should be, so I probably need a angled construction line, which I'll click on there and there, and it'll follow the angle down to where it should intersect. So for this, I need to be on, you've got the submenus down the side, create, change, dimensioning, bending, assistance. So create and change are the two we'll be u mostly using for this. So I'm on change and I want to go on to stretch. So I'll stretch this element. So I want to stretch it two points. So I'll click on that first element and then on to the second element. Drag a box over to that element and that will stretch it down to th this point. If I undo that, if you select the wrong point, so if I went on to if I've done two points and put it over that point, it given give you an undesired effect. So we don't want to do that. So this is where we want to do it from that one. Let's redraw that so we can see it again. To that one. Drag the box over that element and that will stretch it down to there. For this element, it's going over. So if we look at this I'll uh, just close it up we need to go on to change again and it's clear element this time so under clear you want to click on separate element so you can see when I hover over this element now it's all in one piece so what I want to do is separate it so I'll click on the first part and then where I want to separate it which is that point so now if you look at it it separated that element into two points. So now I can go on to delete and take that one away. If you click on redraw, you see there's no op open contours there now. Now if I go down to this element, you can see this one is short of the radius. So you can you can use a few different ways to do this. Stretch is easy enough, so horizontal, click on the first element, onto the second element, drag a box over to the straight element and it will close it up. If I've done that the other way around, clicks on the first element, onto the second element, if I clicked onto the put box over the radius, that give it a very undesired effect, so you, you wouldn't want to do that. So I'd undo that. If you come across this problem or do it yourself, just undo it and go through it again horizontal first box click on the second box and drag a square over the first element and that will close it up on the one on the other side we've got um, one element that's short and one that's gone over again so for this one it's, it's going upright so it's vertical so I'd click on the first part of the element, drag it up to the second part, drag a box over that and that close that up. You're still saying there's an open contour because it's not closed these corners up yet so we'd need to go back on to change again, just keep it on change, go to clear, separate element, click on the first element where we want to separate it and then delete that part of the element. So if you look, it's in two elements again. So we delete that. 
and now you can see the points on that which is right showing a, showing a point but it's not an open contour anymore there is another way you could do this if you if you wanted to you could say so if I deleted that element you could either let's go back to I'll close it up go back to create lines you've got different ways you can do this so I'll do two points first uh, two points click on the first point click on the second point and let's close that up if I delete that again you can do this with horizontal as well so I click on that one and then click on the second one and let's close it up exactly the same if I go to redraw there's no open contours in there on these last two elements there should be two, like a two mil radius on that corner and a two mil radius on this corner um, what I'd normally do I'd probably stick a vertical construction line in there and there and a horizontal construction line there just to see where they should meet up and for this we need to go back into the change menu go back in the stretch vertical so I'd zoom in close that one up horizontal and I'd close that one up I know it's meant to be a red but we'll come to that in a second so I'll move on to the next one horizontal and vertical so there then points are closed up so now I'd need to go back into create and if I close this menu back up you've got corners and elements so if I click on corners and elements at the bottoms you've got roundings and radius corner so if I click on radius corner there it will say input fillet radius so we want a 2 mil radius so I'll type in 2 enter that and it, it want to know where we are putting the radius so I'd click on that element and that element and it'll put a 2 mil radius on same for the other one so I'll zoom in now that element and that element and it creates a 2 mil radius for, radius for us so what I'll do I'll leave this OC underscore test dot geo in the tops 200 folder with the open contours and you can practice all these little tricks I've shown you and that's it for this short video